Hello everyone, this is Hello Inje Doll Design. Today we are making this beautiful dress step by step tutorial. And I'm going to show you the measurement that you're going to take for your plate and your box plate right here. If you don't know how to make A-line dress pattern paper, I would recommend that you should go and watch my video on how to make the pattern paper. Please support us by subscribing, thumbs up, comment down below, and like the video, share the video to your friends and loved ones. Please follow us on all social media platforms at Hello Angel Doll Design, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, Hello Angel Doll Design. You can also support us by giving us super thanks and you can also support us by watching us on Facebook and giving us stars. It is not a requirement. If you support us, that gives us more courage to share more video with you. So let's get started. So first thing that we have to do, we are going to pin our pattern paper on our fabric. I'm using this African wax fabric. So I will pin it on my fabric. My pattern paper already includes seam allowance. The only seam allowance that I'm going to add on my pattern paper is going to be at the bottom edge so that I can hem the dress. I have pinned my front pattern paper on my fabric. What I'm going to do, I will just take my scissors and then cut it out. The only seam allowance that I'm adding on my pattern paper is at the bottom edge. So I add about five centimeters seam allowance or two inch seam allowance so that when I hem it I want the bottom edge to be a little bit bigger so what I'm going to do I will take my scissors and I will just go ahead and cut it out remember when you are cutting your fabric also cut out your lining at the same time And this is my back pattern paper. I have also pinned it on my fabric. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take my scissors and cut it out. Remember when you are pinning your pattern paper on your fabric, make sure that the front is on fold, the back is on fold. What I mean on fold, that means you fold your fabric into two. And when you cut your fabric, when you open it, it's like this. It's not like you're cutting two, two pieces. Your, the back will be one piece, the front will be one piece. So I will take my scissors, I will cut out the back fabric. I have cut out my fabric, both the lining and the made fabric. And I also cut out this blow fabric. So I'm going to tell you the measurement that I cut out. So when you are taking your measurement, make sure that the fabric is on fold. So I place it on fold. I will place my measuring tape and take the measurement of seven and a half centimeter. If you're using inches, you can measure three inch. Make sure you cut a long fabric, the same length as your A-line dress that you're making. And I also cut another fabric right here. This one, we are going to use it as a raffle or plate. My measurement is four centimeter. If you're using inches, you can measure one and a half inch. Cut a long fabric that you can able to gather or you can able to pleat. I have my fabric ready right here. Let's put the dress together. First thing that you have to do, you take your fabric to your sewing machine. This will be our box split for the front of the dress. Take it to your sewing machine. Go ahead and stitch it all the way down. My seam allowance is one centimeter. Once I am done stitching, I will trim a little bit tough from the seam allowance. Turn it inside out, take it to my ironing board and give it a good press. And I will take my raffle fabric, I will take it to my sewing machine. I can either stitch a gather stitch thread all around or I can decide to pleat the fabric all around. It doesn't matter if you pleat it or you gather it both ways are very, very perfect. So I'm going to pleat mine. I will pleat it all around. I have two fabric right here and I will also pleat the second fabric. Once I am done with that, I will show you how it might look. I 
I have stitched my fabric together. This is how it is. You can see how I stitch it together. And the seam is in between the fabric. Make sure to turn it inside out, take it to your ironing board and give it a good press. And I've also pleat my fabric together. This is how it looks once you have done that. So what we are going to do, we are going to pin this blue fabric at the center of this dressmaking. Before you pin it together, our hemming seam allowance is two inch or five centimeter. So what you are going to do, because I don't want this fabric that we are going to attach at the front of the dress to be all the way down, we are going to minus that hemming seam allowance. This is my five centimeter. So what I'm going to do, I am going to place my measuring tape at the bottom edge of the fabric. I am going to measure inside three and a half centimeter so that I have a little bit right here when I'm putting them together. Measure inside three and a half centimeter. If you're using inches, you can measure one and a half inch. So this is my three and a half centimeter is right here. What I'm going to do, I will pick my blue fabric, place it at the front of the neckline, and I'm just going to follow the crease. I have pinning all the way down. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, you take your pleat fabric or if you gather your fabric just pick it up what we are going to do we are going to place it inside the fabric you move the fabric aside and then you pick this pleat fabric you put it on top of each other like this you just place it on top of it you can also go ahead and pin it all around you can see the way i put them together all you have to do you just raise your fabric and then you push it inside make sure that when you are going to take it to your sewing machine and top stitch the stitches that you stitch before is not showing by this time you are going to be using a matching thread to stitch the fabric together and then you come to this other side, you repeat the same process. Push this fabric aside and then push your pleat fabric inside. Once you have pushed it inside, make sure that you secure the fabric with a pin. You have done that, take it to your sewing machine and stitch it all the way down. I have stitched it together. This is how it is once you have done that. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to take our lining. We are going to place it on our May fabric. Make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. Take your dress to your sewing machine. You are going to stitch the both armhole and the neckline. Do not stitch the shoulder yet. My seam allowance is one centimeter. Once you have done that, you take your back dress, you are going to repeat the same process. You place your lining on top of it like this. Make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. You are going to stitch around the both armhole and neckline. I have top stitch around the both armhole and the neckline. I just turn it inside out, give it a good press. This is how the front of your dress will look once you have done that. And this is the back of my dress. I have not turned it inside out yet because we have to attach a button loop at the center back of this dress making. So what you are going to do, you place your measuring tape at the neckline. I am going to take a measurement of 12 centimeter is right here so if you are using inches you can measure four and a half inch this is my 12 centimeter that i have measured what you are going to do you are going to take your scissors and cut it down to that 12 centimeter that you measure or four and a half 
inch. So I will take my scissors, I'm going to cut it all the way down. The next thing that you have to do, you have to place your button loop inside. Make sure to prepare your button loop. I have shown many times on my YouTube on how to prepare a button loop. So what you are going to do, you just open your dress like this. This is where the loop is, this cuff edge. You're going to you place it inside like this and make sure that the raw edges is facing out. What you are going to do, you are going to take it to your sewing machine and top stitch it all the way around. I have stitched the center back of the dress. This is how it look right now. The next thing that we have to do, we take our front dress. So what we are going to do, we are going to put it inside the back dress. So when you are putting them inside, what you are going to do, make sure that may fabric of your front dress, may fabric of your back dress will be facing each other. So I will put it like this and I will take my pin and I will place it at the shoulder seam of the dress that I am making. Open the lining like this. All you have to do, you place the shoulder inside the back of the shoulder. You just pull it out like this, remove your safety pin, and then fix the shoulder properly. Once you have done fixing, then you pin it in place. Once you have done that, you open it again. This is the front of my shoulder. I'll place my safety pin inside the front of the shoulder. I'm going to put it inside the back of the shoulder. So I will pull it out like this and remove your safety pin, fix the shoulder properly. Once you have done that, take your pin to secure the shoulder together. I have secured the both shoulder together. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, stitch the shoulder, same with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fab. Once you have done that, trim a little bit out from the seam allowance, turn it inside out, take it to your any board and give it a good press. I have stitched the shoulder seam of my top dress. This is how it is. The next thing that we have to do is to put the both side seam of the dress together and hem the dress. All you have to do, you pick your dress like this, both lining facing each other, made fabric facing each other. You go ahead and stitch the side seam with your seam allowance. My seam allowance is one centimeter. I will stitch it all the way down and I will come down to the other side and I will stitch it all the way down. Once I am done with that, I will use the opportunity to hem my lining and I will also hem my May fabric. I have stitched the side seam of my dress and I've also hem my dress all around. This is how it look. And I use the opportunity to fix my button to make it more beautiful. This is the final look of the dress. Thank you all so much for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye.